Picking the right password manager can be a challenge. After all, there are so many of them and they're all so different. So today, we're narrowing down the choice to two popular choices, NordPass versus Bitwarden. Let's see which one is the best fit for you. The first thing I always look at when reviewing any password manager is security. So is Bitwarden safe? Or are you better off putting your trust in NordPass? If we look at how these password managers were made, there's a core difference here. Bitwarden is open source, meaning its source code is available for anyone to review at any time. And this lets the community suggest improvements or point out vulnerabilities. On the other hand, NordPass's source code is private but the company is part of a bug bounty program, which empowers ethical hackers to find bugs and even receive rewards for doing it. Plus, NordPass has a dedicated team constantly working on finding and resolving any issues as fast as possible. Now, there is a difference in how Bitwarden versus NordPass choose to ensure the safety of your data. While both of them use encryption to scramble your data into an unreadable mash of symbols, Bitwarden chose the AES 256 bit encryption, while NordPass opted for the XCHAcha20 cipher. Both are equally secure and even quantum proof. However, ChaCha is easier to implement and less prone to human error. So far, when comparing NordPass versus Bitwarden, it's clear that these two apps have different approaches to security, but the password managers do share some practices. For example, these best password manager candidates both have a zero knowledge architecture, meaning they can't ever access your vault and your data. It's only known to you. And to confirm this promise, each password manager did pass independent audits by third party security companies. Now, if you want to strengthen the security of your vault even more, you'll have options to add extra login steps. Bitwarden offers two factor authentication, while NordPass has multi factor authentication options. And if you want an easier time logging in, there's an option to add biometrics, like your fingerprint. Overall, both password managers are highly secure options. However, I'd say that NordPass is a little more advanced in this area, with more modern encryption and MFA options. It isn't a huge difference, but it still puts them a step ahead of the competition. If you already think NordPass security is the best option for you, you can use the link in the description or the QR code on screen to save some money on your subscription. Now that we've done a Bitwarden versus NordPass review for security, let's see what the password manager apps have inside them and how well their features work. First things first, you can easily add new logins to both password manager apps. Just fill in the required fields and save the entry. If you've had a password manager before, even if it's something like the built-in Google Pass password manager in the Chrome browser, you can skip a lot of the manual labor and just import your data. This process is pretty straightforward whether you choose NordPass or Bitwarden, but I found NordPass to be a bit more seamless because it offers more options. If you need new logins, then there are the password generators. Pretty standard stuff. You can choose to use random characters or words, and then pick the length and the elements that should be included. The main difference here is that Bitwarden allows longer passwords, up to 128 characters. Once you have your logins all set, you can check their security with both password managers too. They can detect reused and weak passwords, and NordPass also marks ones that were set more than 90 days ago. On top of that, there are tools to monitor data leaks related to your accounts. These will notify you right away if any problems arise. This way, you can secure your accounts right away and avoid potentially much bigger problems. Now, if you want to ditch passwords altogether, try passkeys. This is a more streamlined and secure method of accessing your accounts since this skips the password part entirely. When logging in, you'll just need to verify your identity, usually with biometrics or a pin code. For now, passkeys are only supported by a handful of websites, but it's likely that they'll become an account security staple in the future. So it's nice to have a chance to get used to them. Another handy feature is password sharing. With NordPass, you can easily share items with other NordPass users just by inputting their emails. And I like that I can edit access levels or revoke access at any time. Meanwhile, Bitwarden lets you share items with non-users by generating a link with an expiration time or auto-deletion. But you have to manually write and copy-paste the info. You can do the same thing through the NordPass website if you want, even if you don't have an account. Now let's talk about my favorite password manager feature, Autofill. To get it to work on a PC, you'll have to get a browser extension. 
It'll then suggest filling in your login fields automatically. And if you add personal info into the NordPass app, like credit card information and an address, it'll safely autofill these too. It's super convenient, especially when shopping. And if NordPass notices a login that you haven't used before, it'll suggest saving it automatically as well. And by the way, if you want to get NordPass on your phone, you don't need any other app to do this. You should see autofill and autosave suggestions as long as you enable them in settings. Now, Bitwarden has the autofill function too. However, while doing research for this Bitwarden review, I found out that at one time it had a huge flaw that left it vulnerable to login theft by malicious programs. Bitwarden scrambled to fix it, but to this day their autofill feature is disabled by default, and I wouldn't advise turning it on. I also want to mention email masking, a fairly new feature in the best password manager world. It lets you generate a fake email address to use for signups, preventing your real email from being exposed online. NordPass has this feature built in. With Bitwarden, it requires some extra steps. You'll need a Fastmail account, and then you'll need to generate an API token, which you can then add to Bitwarden. Overall, both password managers have a set of convenient features. It's just that Bitwarden's autofill isn't very trustworthy, which puts a dent not only in their reputation, but in their ease of use as well, since it is a core password manager feature. So if you want a solid autofill feature, opt for NordPass. Theirs is seamless and secure. Just don't forget to grab a discount code through the link in the description. Otherwise, you'll end up paying more money than you need to. Speaking of price, just how much will one of these password managers cost you? Let's do a NordPass versus Bitwarden comparison of plans. Both password managers offer free app options, but in each case, these are very stripped down versions of the apps with limited functionalities. Even though these are some of the best free password manager options on the market, I generally still don't recommend a free app as a long-term solution. However, it can be a great test run. To get the full benefits, you have to grab a premium plan. Both premium options are very affordable, and at the end of the day, Bitwarden is the cheaper option. That said, NordPass brings a huge variety of features and good value for the price. Now, there are also family plans for up to six users as well, all with the same benefits as the individual plans. NordPass for families is actually cheaper in this area especially if you use the discount from the description. There are two final factors to consider when choosing the best password manager 2025 option, device compatibility and how easy the app is to use. The two password managers work on a variety of devices and both offer browser extensions. I found each one easy to navigate so even beginners shouldn't get lost. That said, when comparing the two side by side, you can see that NordPass is more modern while Bitwarden's interface is quite outdated. Unless of course you appreciate the old school vibes. In case something goes amiss, both providers have multiple customer support options, but Bitwarden doesn't offer real-time assistance options. You'll have to rely on your own troubleshooting abilities and community forums. Of course, you can always find password manager tutorials on our channel, so don't forget to like and subscribe. To sum up this NordPass versus Bitwarden comparison, Bitwarden is one of the best budget-friendly options, and it's a good choice as long as you ignore their autofill issues. Meanwhile, NordPass excels at security and has a variety of tools making it well worth the price point. Ultimately, the choice is up to you, because only you know your needs and your preferences. But if you're looking for the most valuable option available, I'd say go with NordPass. If you do end up deciding to get a NordPass plan, be sure to click on the box on screen or check the description to grab my exclusive discount. And definitely check out our channel for more cybersecurity tips. Thanks, and see you next time.